Race for the White House now exactly two weeks to the day until Election Day. And Hillary Clinton is leading in the polls and calling on her top surrogates, including President Obama, to make her case as Donald Trump takes media coverage into his own hands. ABC's Cecilia Vega is here with all those details. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. Two weeks to go, and it is time for the closing arguments. Donald Trump is going after the media also, and those polls claiming that they're rigged. Hillary Clinton is feeling so confident right now, she's happy to let others do the attacking for her. Donald Trump claiming the system is rigged launched one of his famous attacks on the media overnight. These people are among the most dishonest people in the world, the media. And he's now trying to cut the media out of the equation altogether, launching a TV show on his Facebook page, his aides there inside Trump Tower, anchoring coverage leading up to his nightly rallies. The inaugural broadcast, not without some hiccups. What's going on? Give him a second, Boris. Sorry. Yeah. On the other side, Hillary Clinton feeling so confident she's now leaving her heavy hitting to others. From Elizabeth Warren. Get this, Donald. Nasty women are tough. And on November 8th, we nasty women are going to march our nasty feet to cast our nasty votes to get you out of our lives forever. To Joe Biden. I'd like to take him behind the gym if I were in high school. I mean, all kidding aside, wouldn't you? I mean, for real. Even President Obama getting in on the action on Jimmy Kimmel. But what we haven't seen before, I think, is somebody questioning the integrity of elections and the will of the people. Trump landing a spot on Kimmel's mean tweets, the president all too happy to play along. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States, exclamation point, at real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump, at least I will go down as a president. <laughs> yeah, ouch. <laughs> so Clinton is now feeling so confident. She's not just campaigning for her own win on the top of the ticket, but also for down ballot candidates, too. Both Clinton and Trump are in that also important battleground of Florida today, where Clinton has a lead in the polls, George, and voting is already underway there. Okay.